odds for they to win? Do you like having a little pressure on you there, Brent? Absolutely. Uh, that, that makes the game fun, you know, having a little added pressure on you, you know. And it, it's good to know you're needed to win the game. So, I mean, it's always, it's always good there. Are you, I, watching you the other night on the court in Syracuse, you were so happy. I've never seen you that happy. Even when you won championships in high school. Yeah. How do you sustain that but still stay hungry and not just excited to be in the final four? I mean, I, I think you just got to look at the big picture. You're, we're always going to be happy we made it, but that wasn't our goal just to make it this year. You know, we want to do something even more special. You know, we want to win the championship. Something that hasn't happened here in 15 years. So, I mean, I think, I think just keeping your eyes on the real prize and, and looking at the big picture is, is the important part. I've been in this gym and watched you play high school basketball. Look up over the top of my head at all those banners. Did you ever think you were going to be hanging one of your own? I don't know. I, I did for a little bit, you know, and then once I headed out to Cleveland and said I wasn't sure if I'd ever get back there, but it's amazing. It's a dream come true. It's crazy. There's a lot of times in these football stadiums, you know, shooting numbers tend to go down. For yourself as a shooter, are you worried at all about shooting the ball in a football stadium? Oh, uh, absolutely not. I mean, we're in – is it a dome? Yeah. We're not playing outside, Brynn. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm not too worried about it, you know. I think just shooting the, shooting the ball is shooting the ball, no matter where you're at, you know. You'd like to play in an aircraft carrier, wouldn't you? Absolutely. That would be fun. That would be a good time. Uh, I'm mad I missed that. So. Brynn, getting to the Final Four would not be such a big deal for this team. How are you guys able to kind of turn the page? Um, you mean to the championship, yeah. uh, focusing on that? Um. I mean, Izzo, right when we got in the locker room, you know, we, we had some fun for probably like 30 minutes. And then we started thinking about the next game. He said everything he wants us, everything we do when we wake up, when we go to sleep, when we're eating, he wants us thinking about Duke. Um, so, I mean, that, that kind of just changed our focus right there. We were going from celebrating to focus on the task. One of the things that you don't see about Denzel's game, he played in a long time. But there's a game he has uh, four points against Virginia, but he's plus 17 in terms of when you guys are up when, when he's yeah. in the game. Him so Because he can do everything on the court. He's gonna rebound the ball. He's gonna he'll he'll make shots. If, if he's not making shots, he's gonna rebound. He's gonna pass. He's gonna be in double digits in both of those. And assists and rebounds. He's gonna you know play defense. He's gonna dive. On, he's gonna do all the like intangibles plus everything other than scoring. You, you grew up around here. How important for him is program legacy? Here? Huge. I mean, with with his dad playing here, you know, I think he. You know, it's, it makes it a little more personal when you've got when it's when you've got family here and your family's done things. This one, you know, to, I don't, I'm not sure if his dad won one, but to achieve something that maybe no, I didn't. Maybe, that your dad didn't achieve. You know, that's huge. Yeah.